guys, welcome back to the Toy Notes studio with me, Kelsey, your lead toy enthusiast here at Toy Notes. Hopefully you guys are having a fabulous day, and I thank you for tuning in. We're playing with the My First Mind-Blowing Science Kit today. Science and experiments is really taking off in toy trends right now. Um, it's expected or projected to be one of the top 2017 toy trends. So I found this one for a very reasonable price on the Amazon bestsellers list. And I knew that I wanted to try it, but I also thought you guys would like to see it because with the toy trends, there's gonna be a lot more experiment toys that we're gonna be looking at. And this one's kind of a base model being my first. So this one was recommended, what did it say on here? Six plus, so kids six and older, probably mostly because they just, it's multiple steps and you don't want them ingesting anything. So without further ado, let's go inside. I know there's supposed to be 11 activities. I'm hoping there's some exciting ones. Let's get it opened. Well, that was a super easy unboxing. Everything is nicely stored in this big, like gallon size Ziploc. Um, there's some instructions. It's like a whole book tucked right here in the front. Um, and this is actually pretty cool because, let's see if I can show you guys. Um, it goes step by step. You can see the experiments as they're coming up. Let me see if I can find one. Okay, so this one is underwater volcano. Right here is, oh, sorry. Um, this one is underwater volcano. Right here you can see um, the list of stuff you need that's in your bag already. And then there's a list of stuff that you need to supply. Step-by-step -step instructions here to make the volcano. So, with that being said, I know you heard me say things you need to supply and thought, oh my gosh, and I did too. Um, when you open up this little front page, there's a list of what comes with it and like a full shopping list. So things that you'll need to get to use, some of it's super basic, like um, a spoon for stir stirring, some measuring spoons and cups, a bowl for mixing, um, You'll need a household sink for some of them, soap, towels, but some of it is like uh, masking tape, red or blue pens, grape juice, and it's very specific. It says not white grape juice, um, just water, coffee filter paper. Um, so there is some things that you're going to need. Now, my initial issue with this is that there is nothing on this box that says, hey, you're going to need additional supplies. It tells you what's in here, but it doesn't really say anything else. So I really wish that there was something on there, like a little blip of what you'll need and just some basics because if I'm picking this up in the store, I would rather pick up what I need for it for my kid right then and there. That way I'm not going back out to the store for it, adding it to my shopping list, which in turn adds some expense. But there is a decent amount that comes with it and let's see, I'll just read them off for you. So you've got a little thing of vegetable oil and then all these nicely organized packets are other ingredients we've got baking soda color tablets cornstarch citric acid red cabbage juice powder cross-linked polycrylate copolymer say that five times fast um, there's some little cups for stirring that are decent quality they're not chintzy too bad, but the highest quality items are actually like the little test tubes. These are a nice thick plastic and it comes with a really cool holder. So you've got the holder for doing your experiments. And last but not least, we have a little packet with our pipette, some stirring straws, measuring spoons, and a couple Q-tips. So I'm sure that goes along with a first experiment. Um, some of them are super easy where you just need water in a bowl. Some of them, and again, include the other things on your shopping list. But each of them has a nice um, step by step by step by step process. 
So it's one, teaching kids about science, and two, it's teaching them to follow something from beginning to end in a series of instructions. And at that age of six, you know, and older, I think that is really kind of cool. This is a time for us as parents to be able to get involved with the play, supervising, of course, um, but also for them to learn how to like start and finish a complete project and see the fruitage of that by watching this cool science experiment go off without a hitch. Also, problem solving, because sometimes the experiment won't work, and then you can sit down and think, well, why didn't it work? What didn't I do right? And try again. Um, because a lot of these products, if you run out of them, this stuff is going to last, but, yeah, I mean, you get vegetable oil for almost nothing, as well as baking powder and cornstarch, so you can refill and reuse this multiple times for using different experiments, which I like. So all in all, I think this is a pretty good set. I really, 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 really wish they had had a shopping list in there. Um, just so I kind of knew what I would need to buy as a parent to get started. But fortunately, there are a few that you just need water in a mixing bowl, which I happen to have. So I could get some of those done. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed exploring into the mind-blowing science kit, and it's a my first mind-blowing science kit. So this is kind of a base model. There's a lot more. Um, this one is from Scientific Explorer, and they have a lot of toys um, that delve into that kind of science realm of toys that is trending right now in the 2017 year. So I'm sure you'll be seeing more from these guys throughout this year, and we'll be looking at more of these experiment sets to see what's good and what's not that sort of thing. Until next time, guys, make sure you give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss out. And check us out at toynotes.com where I'm keeping up on all of the 2017 trends. So you'll want to make sure you're there staying up on it as well. And until next time, guys, bye.